All right, Revo knives, Revo knives. And uh, I saw these because every once in a while I'll go to eBay and I'll go, I mean, I follow White Mountain Knives on their eBay seller list or store. And so I'll go there just to see what Justin's got listed uh, because he doesn't tell me what all he's up to. And I, half the time I go to his site to buy something is because I saw him listed on eBay because he hadn't built it out on his site yet or whatever. And then I'll like contact him and say, well, you got it, so I want my 10% discount because if I buy from you on eBay, I don't get it, okay? And then I got to pay tax on eBay. You guys seeing that? But White Mountain, uh-uh, I ain't paying tax for so I'm getting 10% off. So this is an assisted opening knife. Revo, the Warden. This is in blue, stone wash. Um, and, oh, hold on, pull this out because that's just kind of a slip cover over this zipper pouch, which I had opened. Smooth move. Okay, so here you go. Revo Knives, Revo Crazy, the Berserk, uh, the Karambet Recoil, Vipera, uh, and all this. There you go, the mission. I don't know what their mission is. There's a sticker snacks uh and so it, it slides in here right so that's that's pretty cool uh, although i don't know if i need this much packaging on a knife uh that's you know a, just a budget budget knife but okay the thing is this thing is 49 dollars and it's 9CR18 MOV, which they use in a lot of Civivi knives now. So if it's, if it's heat treated correctly, I prefer it to D2 much of the time. By the way, here's the Warden. 49 bucks. Uh, so LTK discount code gives you five bucks off approximately. So what are you at? 44 something. And there's the stats. It's not a real big knife, 3.2, 7.6 overall, 3.2 inch blade, etc. Okay. Um, the other one I bought is this one, is the Ness, N-E-S-S. -S. And this is a bigger knife, and this is D2. The reason I don't have it here is I sent it in for testing to see if that's really D2, and yes, it is. And here's the stats on it. See, this is eight inches overall with about a 3.4 inch blade. So it feels like a full size knife. This one's smaller. It's, it's more, uh, there you go. There's my Para 3. It's still bigger than the Paramilitary 3. Uh, but let me take my real steel G-slip. Ah, G-slip's way bigger. So. Uh, grab my tape and confirm what we're looking at. Yeah, 3.2, 3.25, depending on where you want to put your mark on this, at about around 80 millimeters overall, seven and a half at 19 centimeters. And uh, grab my little micrometer here, 0.117. A uh, three millimeter blade stock at 12.5, which would give you almost half inch, but 0.49. So that's it's it's wide enough, and the ergos are pretty good on this. Deep carry pocket clip, right or left hand. So you got this out. Some of you righties not gonna like this because it does kind of shine at you and they didn't put a cover plate over here. And for $49, I think they need to put a cover plate over here. That's what I think. Uh, otherwise, the deep carry clip, which I don't mind, and that's good. And the G10 is nice and it's got good texturing on it. Hardware's it's pretty standard stuff. Uh, pivot's okay. Access in the back, we'll take it apart. This is kind of maybe one of the more fun parts of the knife right here is these backspacers. Check that out. 
Uh, they're interesting looking. Open design otherwise, and I'm not seeing any uh, skeletonized liners in there either. Of course, then you got these G10 thumb studs. Here's your lock up about 25, eh, let's call it 30% jimping along here. You got a pass through you can get to. Yeah, disengage, but since it's assisted opening, you got to kick it down yourself. So uh, it's not going to have a drop, any of that. But if you like assisted opening, uh, let me see if I can kick it open with my opposite finger. Yeah, not easy to do though. Not easy for me to do. This is much easier. This is really how I do it. And that, that kicks open really well. Uh, this one's more difficult because it's so close to that scale for me to get. Well, okay, just come up behind it, really. Don't try and get under it. Get behind it from the back like that. And then kick it. Like that. Still, it takes some push. It's it's fairly stiff. It doesn't come popping open uh, at the slightest touch, which may be good uh, that it doesn't do that. So yes, you have to give it some, but you'll get used to that. You'll get used to that. Got a little choil area in here. Should be easy to sharpen and maintain. If it's properly heat treated, it should be a good user steel. I, the reason I got it is I like the design. And let me show you a couple things. I got this one because I like this design too. The reason I didn't get this one is I don't like this design. Okay, I don't like this design or this design. And there's others that I don't like either. Uh, so really there was... Me too, and maybe this one might be interesting as well. And that's $28.99. So you'll have to look if you're interested in just trying new different brands. Uh, then you know they vary from $28 to $65, and then of course apply your discount and go from there. But yeah, I, I just thought this would be cool to check out because I'm always up for taking a look at some new and different brand, kind of finding out more about them. And it's uh, a little over three ounces, 3.17 ounces at 90 uh, grams. So, kicks right open though, pretty nice. Yeah, three uh, closest part of the bolster, you know, 3.15 maybe, three. 3.1 inches and then you could go back down here and say it's 3.2 whatever at about 80 millimeters seven and a half and 19 centimeters overall fit and finish seems pretty decent I mean I, I don't I don't have anything to bitch about particularly and this is stone wash so this took all the edges off of here and uh, pictures of testing here you go let's cut it up oh wow okay wow it's sharp though it really is sharp so uh wasn't expecting it quite to be that sharp got jimping on top of the blade nice blade shape i think for piercing slicing should be good it's got a nice slender profile to it the ergos are good. I can get all my fingers on here. Reverse grip, I can do that as well. So, yeah, my balance is right there. That's easy to find. And blade to handle length. Uh, I mean, yeah, you got it. The design flow is good. Centered up. I mean, no blade play or 
lock rock anything like that so it's solid from that standpoint it's just a problem you know i can get a ganzo knife for 25 bucks that i think i'm gonna like just as much but this design is interesting and they don't make a ganzo that looks like this so this would be this might be an alternate and if you like assisted opening that might be something of interest as well i think the ness is not an assisted opening knife so i'll uh, i'll get with you when i get that one back from testing and we'll take a look at that as well see if we can take some part of this uh apart just to kind of peek inside see where we are these should be number sixes i guess i got that already disconnected and it kicks all off here and there we go there goes the screws out the back way yeah it's uh looks stone washed it's not uh it's not weight relieved or anything like that and uh looks like the uh the assisted opening is on the front side here probably got a spring up oh, let's blade stop goes and it's got washers there it is so there's your a spring here for your assisted opening and it goes into the blade here so that winds it up otherwise bronze washers and that's what that looks like and it's fairly substantial as far as thickness goes though and uh nothing special there and then these are the standoffs Just pivot back on here. Get it locked down at least a bit. And then these screws here look the same length. Got that one. centered back with the Revo Warden yeah I don't know Nah, it doesn't it doesn't hit my doesn't tick my boxes uh, I don't like the assisted opening everything else about the knife is kind of attractive is this would been on a liner lock with no assisted opening and more like $35 uh, yeah uh, and maybe 32 after discount getting closer to the Ganzo range I'd say yes and I don't need all this uh, not for a knife like this I'm more focused on the knife than the packaging at this price point but for right and left hand I like the design, uh, comes in different colors, 
so it might be for you take a look at the revo knives on uh, white mountain maybe there's a design that uh, appeals to you and you know what we do we love them knives so you guys stay sharp